Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Um, I am back. Uh, the internet's been kind of crazy in my area just because of forest fires here in Washington State. Um, plus, I've had my focus on Hurricane Harvey and all my loved ones down there. So it's been a little bit since I've actually done any sort of update on here. And I really apologize. I love you all. And I hope everybody has been safe. Um, Margaret's safe. She's doing well. And that makes me really happy. I have family down there as well that I've been trying to keep in contact with. So it's been a little bit of a crazy situation. Um, but I wanted to tell everybody that it's been exactly three months since I've been a full-time denture wearer which has been really great. Um, I just want to say it has been a crazy journey so far, but I have absolutely no regrets, none, no regrets. It's been amazing. I have a newfound appreciation for anyone who is a denture wearer. I really do, or anyone about to go through the process. It's been incredible. Um, it takes a lot of courage, so own it. If you're a denture wearer, own it. It takes courage and don't let anyone shame you into thinking otherwise you are very strong for going through it or even starting the process so own it uh, denture shouldn't be a dirty word they are it seems like <laughs> but they shouldn't be so don't let anybody put you down for having dentures it takes a lot of courage and you're stronger than you think so own it really um, this journey so far has brought me people I never would have crossed paths with if I didn't have dentures and that was priceless to me I never would have come across Margaret if I wouldn't have been looking for dentures uh, that that right there absolutely love you Margaret so much and I'm so glad you're safe when it comes to dentures in general one day at a time just take it one day at a time and don't set your goals and expectations on other people's journeys, really. If they can eat a steak three days in, great, high five to them. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you, that you have to too. So remember that, you don't have to set your goals based on other people's goals or their milestones. And if you're struggling today, tomorrow's another day. And that goes for me. If I can't do something today, there's another day. Tomorrow's another day. I wake up and try again. Doesn't mean that it always works for me, but don't set unrealistic expectations for yourself. Don't just take it one day at a time, one goal at a time, and advocate for yourself. Speak up for yourself. We've seen a lot of people say that, you know, dentists aren't compassionate, that they try to make them settle for something that they don't want, whatever it might be, advocate for yourself. Don't let them make you settle. Um, it's your, your journey, your comfort, your life, and speak up for yourself. Don't let them intimidate you. I've learned that through this process, that what I think and what I say matters based on my personal life. So definitely advocate for yourself. I've learned patience. Patience is something I thought I used, I thought I had, but not like this. Um, I can't have it all right there when I want it. Um, you know, I had three kids, two very close together within 22 months and I was outnumbered. Um, so I thought I had patience. I did, but in a different way. I had to learn to take things step by step. So I learned patience, which was really, really good. And I learned a lot of compassion. I've learned a lot of information. It's been information overload. But I've also learned that I'm stronger than I thought I was. So keep that in mind. You are stronger than you think you are. Our subconscious likes to tell us that we're not strong enough to go through this stuff. Well, we are. We definitely are. And remember that for every bad horror story you hear, there's a thousand good ones. A lot of people don't talk about the good stories very often. They focus on the negative and the bad ones because they're shocking. Well, there's good stories too. Mine's a great story. And 
I really didn't have a ton of pain or discomfort or bumps in the road that were out of the usual or out of the norm. So remember that, you know, it's just because you see something bad happen to somebody, it doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. So don't hold yourself back. I let the fear hold me back for a really long time and that was the worst thing that I could have done is not doing it sooner. So definitely jump in, get the ball rolling. Um, it's been the best change in my life that I could have made for myself. So definitely don't hold yourself back. You can do it, even if you're young. There's so many young people out there now that are getting dentures, it's crazy. Um, the one thing that I had to learn is that I wasn't alone. I joined a couple of Facebook groups and learned that there were a lot of other people out there going through what I was about to go through or what I needed to start. And I didn't realize that there was so many other people out there. And I lurked and I read and I watched and I researched and I did all of this stuff without saying a word for a while. Um, but when I started talking in these Facebook groups, it made me realize that there were people that I could talk to, people that could answer my questions, or people that would just tell me that they were looking for the same information. That made me want to start the ball rolling. It made me want to start the process. So get out there, find a group. There's a lot of them on Facebook. You just type in dentures and a ton of them will, will pop up. And they're great. Just knowing that there were other people going through it was what helped me start the process and make the appointments. Have a focal point. For me, it was wearing lipstick again. That's what it did. Um, having that focal point, something I was looking forward to, was what helped me keep my appointments. So it helped me want to get through the process better. So find a goal, find a focus, find something that's going to keep you positive. And don't focus on the negative. It doesn't help. Um, it's not as painful, it's not as scary, it's not as bad as we think it is. Um, it really is good. And don't let Dennis tell you that you can spend $100,000 to fix what you know is broken, that can't be fixed, that's going to deteriorate in another two or three years to spend that $20,000 on dentures in the long run. If they are repairable, great, go that route. But don't settle because the dentist tells you to. Get two, three, four, five, ten, or ten different consults before you get a consistent answer. Um, don't just let the dentist push you around and make you settle for something that you're not happy with. So be your own advocate. Uh, in my journey so far, I'm so happy with Russell Klein. I cannot even start to express my gratitude for that man. I don't think that I would be where I am right now without him. I really don't. I was afraid that I was going to have to go without teeth for months. Um, and he gave me something that I never thought I would get back, which is my confidence. So I absolutely adore Russell. And I work really hard to try to educate people and let people know that he's out there. He's providing a service a lot of people don't have an option to. The prices are so high. So he does provide a service for people that, you know, at a lower cost to get dentures, which is amazing. So I love Russell. But just an update about my journey. I am so happy I made this, this step. I'm so happy that I chose this route and um, the people I've met along the way, my dental community, I absolutely love you guys. And all of you have helped me get through mine. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but everybody that I've come in contact with has helped me upon, you know, along my journey. They really do. Um, it's something that fuels uh, my momentum moving forward. So definitely remember that. And the more we all share information together, the better it becomes for the community. The more we talk about it, the more we share. That is what helps everybody. So remember that denture is not a dirty word. Own your dentures. If you've taken the courage to do it, own it. Uh, because it's something that takes courage and strength. Um, so don't let anybody shame you. Don't let anybody tell you uh, that you're less of a person for having dentures. It's it's not a bad thing. It's just becoming more and more common. So don't, don't think of it as a negative thing. 
Um, I'm gonna do a little video later about dating or intimacy with dentures. We all have thoughts about it. It's just human nature. And I'm gonna share some of my thoughts or fears that I had to deal with and how I dealt with them, which is a good thing. But I just wanted to let everybody know I'm doing fantastic with my dentures. I don't have any more pain. Avioplasty was great and my dentures are loose, yes, because I do have shrinkage, but that's okay. I'm keeping my Russell Kleins for now until I feel like I'm ready to get the permanent ones for my insurance and I'm going to go from there, but I am so incredibly happy I went down this road um, and I wouldn't have, I, I, I definitely wouldn't have thought that it would have been this much of a positive experience, but it has been. So don't don't let anybody tell you you can't do it because you can you definitely can you're stronger than you think um, because I'm I'm so I'm so proud of myself for doing it and I think a lot of people would say that um, and remember that for every bad story you hear there's a thousand good ones it doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you take that leap take that leap of faith that you're you're worth it and that you can do it Anyway, I love you guys, and I am back, and I will be getting more videos out there um, today, tomorrow, following forward, um, and going from there, but I've got a lot of stuff to share with you guys from over the last week. It's just going to take some time to get all the videos out there and everything, but my teeth are looking great. Uh, love them. And I will continue this with my next video of dating and dentures. Love you guys.